you go on vacation, you're not just going to have fun. You're going to have an experience. You want to stay at a nice place, and just as important, you want to go and eat at the best spots in the area. When you go to a place like Italy, the menu is absolutely a very important part, to the extent that many go just for the food. Whatever happens, you'll still have the candy. But which places should you go to eat at? Allow us to show you the best authentic restaurants in Italy. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. Uliassi's Uliassi's opened its doors for the first time in 1990, thanks to the efforts of chef Mauro Uliassi and his wife Katya. Nicely located between the beach and the port, the view and the atmosphere match fantastically the marvelous food. Fish, as you would expect this close to the sea, but also game because of cultural reasons, the owners say. They consider their cuisine simple yet very contemporary because it uses all the latest technologies and techniques while remaining very much rooted in the area's culinary tradition. You should go there for their fish dishes, such as the Romini Fest, a calamaretti or young squid skewer rubbed with garlic then rolled in parsley, garlic, and rosemary-infused breadcrumbs, roasted on Carpano Carbonella. When just off the fire, it is further aromatized with a dressing made with olive oil, ginger, garlic, and lemon, but not in the traditional way. The dressing is iced and turned into tiny solid drops by letting it slowly drip on nitrogen. Number 5. St. Hubertus When you decide to visit St. Hubertus, you'll go in for a great treat. The Hotel Rosa Alpina, home to the St. Hubertus restaurant, is beautifully located in the Italian Dolomites and offers accommodation, a familiar atmosphere, and, of course, its three Michelin star restaurant, skillfully guided by chef Norbert Niederkopfler. Here, you'll find homemade pastas, fresh meat cuts typical of Valbadia, and farm cheeses, all used to prepare heartwarming alpine dishes. Mountain pine, juniper flower, and local spices are selected carefully among producers of the area to create a deliciously unique yet traditional dishes. Number 4. Da Vittorio Family run by the Sereas, Da Vittorio has been around since 1966. It obtained its first Michelin star in 1978 and the second in 1996. And at the beginning of the 2000s, the restaurant became part of the Relais Gourmand circuit then, after the move to a new location in Brusaporto, in the beautiful green surroundings of the Cantalupa, and the opening of a hotel. It also joined the Relais and Chateau and Le Grand Tableau de Monde circuits. The third Michelin star came in 2010. As said, Davitorio is also a hotel, so it could be a perfect location for part of your holiday. Number 3. Dal Pescatore The Santini's family is behind the huge success of this restaurant, which opened exactly 90 years ago in 1925, when Antonio Santini, a fisherman, and his wife Teresa Mazzi decided to start a business together. Part of the Relai Gourmand circuit since the 1990s, as well as of tradition et qualité and Le Grand Tableau de Monde, Dal Pescatore is, still today, a fully family-run business a true icon of Italian cuisine and of how family businesses can still be strong in this day and age. Number 2. Piazza Duomo Piazza Duomo is led by famous Italian chef Enrico Crippa, and, as many of the restaurants presented in this article, successfully merges together tradition and innovation. Piazza Duomo brand has recently expanded to the world of accommodation. A small yet luxurious hotel, three rooms and one suite, can be booked in the same building as the restaurant. They have been specifically studied for all those gourmets who travel to Alba to visit Piazza Duomo and may enjoy to stay over afterwards. Crippa also opened, always in Alba La Piola, a trattoria-style eatery, where traditional Piedmontese dishes are served all week. Number 1. Osteria Francescana Osteria Francescana has been considered the best restaurant in the world for many years now. Enter the king of restaurants, according to critics. Batura's creative, at times over-the-top culinary productions are all here, from mortadella foam and jellied fish to parmesan presented with four textures in one dish, all here for customers to try. Batura offers, besides his avant-garde delights, also more traditional classics of Italian cuisine, so there should really be something for everyone. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Italian restaurants that you really should go to if you head to Italy one day? Which of these places really piqued your interest? Which ones do you feel are the most tasty places to eat at just by looking and hearing what they serve? Do you know another place in Italy that you should eat at if you go there? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.